Good afternoon, students. Since Ms. Johnson's lessons are focused on poetry this week, I wanted to share one of my favorite poets with you. Um, Shel Silverstein is a great poet, and this is his picture. He was born in Chicago in 1930, and he was in the army at one point and drew cartoons for a newspaper. After he left the army, he became a famous musician and poet. Unfortunately, he passed away in 1999, and he was 68 years old. The book I wanted to share with you today is called A Light in the Attic. Um, his poetry is very silly and funny, and he also wrote another book you might be familiar with called Where the Sidewalk Ends. And today we're going to look at a poem called Homework Helper. And I will read you that poem and show it to you in just a second. This is the poem Homework Helper. And look at his beautiful illustration. And let's see if this is something you would like to have in your house. I'm going to read it to you. The homework machine, oh, the homework machine. Most per perfect contraption that's ever been seen. Just put in your homework, then drop in a dime. Snap on the switch, and in 10 seconds time, your homework comes out quick and clean as can be. Here it is. Nine plus four, and the answer is three. Three, oh me, I guess it's not as perfect as we thought it would be, or as I thought it would be. Another great poem is on page 174, and I wanted to show you that, and it's called Creative. This is page 174, and it's very, um, a short poem, but it still shows a great illustration by Shel Silverstein. And this poem says, creative. Everyone says, be creative. Invent something new and they'll buy it. But I've just invented this mustard ice cream and nobody here wants to try it. So I hope you've enjoyed the readings by Shel Silverstein. And I hope that you get to work on your own poetry this week as well.